In this video, we're going to talk about curvature tool. Curvature tool looks like the pen tool with the tail. It is sitting right next to the pen tool. By the way, if you don't see all the tools that you have, you can click on the three dots at the bottom of your toolbar and then click on the hamburger on the flyout menu and then make sure you have the advanced selected. There you go. So let's go back to the curvature tool now. It does have a keyboard shortcut, but I feel like it takes forever to remember it. I don't even know what this little symbol is called. So I'm just going to click on the icon instead. So go ahead and plop down two anchor points. As you might have noticed that the anchor points shows up as little circles instead, instead of squares. So that's one difference from any other drawing tools inside Adobe Illustrator. And I have my rubber band turned on so you can see the trajectory of my curve. That is a really good job. I don't know if I can make my curve this smooth just by using the pen tool. So I will definitely give my curvature tool the credit for doing a good job. Right now you see the solid line moving around instead of the rubber band trajectory. This is because I'm holding down my mouse as I move around. So I'm going to click here. And even after you're done drawing, you can still use the curvature tool to move your anchor points around to adjust your shape. If you're clicking at a segment where there is no anchor point, you will basically add one additional point. Similar to the pen tool, you can convert the type of the anchor points by using the direct selection, which is A on your keyboard, and just click on one of the anchor points. And then maybe in this case, I will convert it to a corner point. This will make it pointy. When you're drawing with the curvature tool, it gives you the trajectory, right? But say that if you're done right here, you still have the rubber band traveling with you. You can press the escape key on your keyboard to tell Illustrator you're done. By default, this tool draws curves. So just assume that you want to draw a curve because it's curvature tool. But if you want to add straight lines, you can hold option key. This will just let you draw straight lines like the pen tool. And also very similar to the pen tool, you can double click um, anchor point to switch between corner and smooth anchor points. Last but not least, if you really don't like to see the rubber band, you can press command K on your keyboard and then just go to selection and anchor display to turn off the enable rubber band for curvature tool. But I find it super helpful, so I never turn these off. But if you want to have that option, here is how you do it. So that's the basics of the curvature tool. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Go check out my Skillshare classes by clicking the link below to get a free trial. I will see you next time.